Hello, I'd like to, if I may, just briefly register a complaint about a um, online article I've just read. Which paper, sorry? Uh, Daily Mail. Well, please, I'll put you through to someone who can take that for you. Cheers. Well, this, I suppose this is a message for um, directly to one Oliver Tree. Just read his online article entitled Attack of the Vapor Trails. I'd like to let him know that those aren't vapor trails, they're not condensation trails that are up in the sky. Um, I suppose if he wants to um, debate me, he can use this number. My name's Skin Brown. I shall be posting a internet video response um, to the article. It's blatant disinformation. What we're seeing up there in the sky are chemtrails. Um, commercial jets don't do S-bends, semicircles, U-turns. Just want to register a complaint about the article. Uh, and let you know that you know there's millions of us out here who realise that that's a blatant piece of disinfo. I shall be um, posting a challenge to Oliver Tree on um, the internet. Blessed love. Perfect example, fat trail with a thin trail running through it, bundles of haze right directly underneath the sun. So how can that be, and I'm feeling the heat here, very hot day, how can that be ice crystals? Why would that not be dissipating? Why is that sitting? there under the sun that haze which has come from an aircraft of some sort and um, if you're watching this on YouTube you know I'd appreciate all comments on from anybody trying to debunk this and the chemtrail thing why are ice crystals sitting there and expanding underneath this blazing sun that is bleaching out the uh, the lens here you can barely see into it and we've got sunbathers all around just to give you an example there's one and this up there and uh, please anybody who can uh, explain that any debunkers out there? Why is this happening? Why isn't the burning sun dissipating that trail there? I suggest it's because that trail isn't ice. That's uh, something else up there. That's my take on it. Leave us a comment.
please.